A controversial sign goes up in a local neighborhood. It calls to, quote, make the township white again. And that message is not sitting well with most folks in that neighborhood. Thanks for watching TV5 News at 5. I'm David Custer. We're well, glad you could be with us tonight. I'm Colette Boyd. A group of neighbors didn't appreciate the sign's message, taking a saw and cutting it up. Our own Ronnie Duncan has been trying to get to the bottom of who made it and why. He joins us live from Flushing Township this afternoon. Ronnie. TJ Tarrant was the author of the sign. No, he's the guy who cut it down. Yes, behind me you see the State Theater, or I should say the Capitol Theater. And at the Capitol Theater, it is known for high drama, but this weekend, that high drama was all in Flushing Township. And yes, the critics have spoken about a sign, and we are listening. So my daughter called me up and says, uh, your neighbor's got a sign out there, and it's starting a lot of trouble. A sign that Chuck Jerky and many of his neighbors are disturbed about and would rather do without in this small community in Flushing Township. One social media post of T.J. Turin cutting up this sign with his saw that simply read, make the township white again, was, in Jerky's opinion, a little too much. I didn't like it. He took it down by then, you know, and... So he come over and I said, Brian, why you do stuff like that? A question that I wanted to know as well. The man known as Brian, who we never received the last name, never answered the door. However, his actions have spoken louder than his words. And for Chuck Jerky, who is passing on some life lessons to his grandson this summer, he's proud to say he encouraged his neighbor to remove the sign immediately. Brian, take that sign down. I said, that's, that's not good. <laughs> You know, it causes a lot of trouble in this neighborhood and all that, you know, and I don't know. <laughs> Do you think he understood? Because he has uh, taken it down. I mean, let's face right, it. Right, right. I mean, uh, obviously your words uh, had an encouraging tone to them. I mean, that's still your neighbor, and yeah. in some regards you may even still call him a friend. Well, he is my friend. Yeah, I, li I like Brian, you know, but, you know, that's too far. <laughs> wow. Listening to those words, you can hear the man excellently say he wasn't with the program. However, there is nothing illegal about what took place there. That was the property of the man known as Brian. He can do whatever he wants. Whether it's in good taste or not, it's all about free speech. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll talk to the man who took the sign down and find out his reasons why and whether or not criminal charges could be coming toward him. All that tonight at 6, right here at WNEM TV 5 News. Back to you.